Hey guys, so today we're gonna to do a deep dive into the quality of these Vader drumsticks. These are the Los Angeles style 5A sticks that they make. I picked up six pairs of these, so we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna look at the quality of these and we're gonna be able to see what kind of consistency we get out of them as well. What we're gonna do is first we're gonna discuss the specs. We're gonna roll them on a table, see how flat they are. We're gonna play on them a bit, see how long it takes for them to chip. And then finally, I'm gonna have some audio samples so you can hear how they sound. Okay, so let's jump into the specs. So these are hickory sticks, which is pretty standard. Vader does make maple sticks as well, just so you know. As mentioned, these are the Los Angeles style sticks as opposed to what they would call their classic sticks. So these sticks are a little bit thicker than their classic style sticks. They are also a little bit thicker than what you would normally see from a Promark stick, um, but just ever so slightly thinner, uh, about five one thousandths of an inch thinner than a Los Cabas stick. The size on these are 0.570 inches in thickness. Length on these is 16 inches, that's pretty standard. It's got your typical kind of lacquer style coating on them as well. According to Vader's website, they are a bit more Ford weighted sticks. Uh, they claim that these are a uh, medium taper. They actually seem like a little bit shorter than what I would normally see on a medium taper, but they claim they're a medium taper. And as far as the tip is concerned, these are oval style tips. That's what you would normally see on say a Promark stick. One thing to note though, that I think on the Promark ovals, I think the, the tip is actually a bigger sized tip. So just one thing to note on that, even though they're both oval, this one uh, seems just a, ever so slightly smaller than what I, I'm typically seeing on Promark. The one thing that's actually really interesting on these sticks is the price point. Uh, these, as a single pair of sticks, these sell for about $8. But Vader sells a four pack, a bundle of six as well. And you effectively get a pair of six for free. Uh, like I mentioned, these, are, these were $8 for a pair. This was $25 for the four pack. So you actually can save a lot of money on the four pack. Now we'll find out in a minute what the quality is like, but just as a note, if you are looking to get Vader, definitely keep your eye out on the four packs. Now, not everyone has it and not everyone has them in stock all the time. Um, so definitely you're gonna have to shop around to be able to get that four pack. All right, so we're gonna head upstairs now. We're gonna roll these around on a table and see how flat they are. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the, the two single pairs of six that I had. Then we're gonna move on to the bundle of four. So we're gonna call this guy pair number one. So it looks like it's got a little bit of rocking right here on that first stick. This one might have a little bit of rocking as well. Not as bad as, as this guy, even though this one isn't too bad either. Not super straight, but you know, pretty straight. Let's take a look at number two. So this one has got even more rock going on. It's got like a bow that's going up like this right now. Yeah, so this one is definitely the worst of the three I've looked at so far. This one here is not too bad. So I would say that's that second stick on the second pair is uh, pretty good. Um, so a little bit of a mixed bag so far. So this is pair number three. This is going to be the first of the, uh, that four pack.
Yeah, this one's got a little bit of a rock on it as well. Now this one's got quite a bit of a bow to it. I could definitely see the light coming in underneath over here. So, so far I'd say uh, pair number three is probably the, the worst of the bunch. I should note that none of the, the Boeings are, are super terrible. Um, there's, I'd say two of the Boeings are, are pretty bad, but not, not terrible. Um, I was just, uh, sorry, I was just checking. One, there was one spot right here on this stick, and I'll try to get a separate shot of it, where it looks like, uh, and it could just be an imperfe imperfection on the wood, but it looks like um, it's not perfectly smooth here. Okay, so let's move on to pair number four. Got a little bit of rocking on this one. Not bad. Yeah, this one's got, it looks like the bow point is maybe around here. So these definitely ha both have a little bit of wiggle going on. The bow point on this one looks like it's a little bit more centered. Yeah, you can see like this one's got like a ton of like weird motion when I'm rolling it. And like over here, you can kind of, you can see like based on the space underneath the stick, it's, it's jumping around a lot. All right, so, so far I, my, my thoughts as I'm going through these is that there's been some that, you know, the, the, the Boeing's been very minor and um, you know, that's, that's fine probably to be expected. Uh, a couple of sticks where, you know, there's a, a decent amount of Boeing, but not terrible, but I, there's been at least three, Three or four sticks out of uh, the um, the set that I've looked at so far. That is, the Boeing is kind of getting a little bit bad. All right, so let's take a look at pair number five, and I can see right off the bat before I start rolling this one that this has a little bit of imperfection on the uh, the wood as well. So I'll try to get a shot of that too. So let's see here. This stick, uh, despite that little imperfection there, um, it actually seems pretty straight. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where my hand would be, whether or not my thumb would be on that or not, but I think I would grip up a little bit. So probably, uh, I probably wouldn't feel that, so that's probably not too much of a deal breaker on that stick. Let's take a look at the second stick in the pair. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, despite that imperfection, that this is the best uh, pair in the set so far. These are um, definitely the straightest ones. They're actually pretty good. Okay, on to pair number six. This is gonna be the last one. Let's see. This one seems pretty good. This one's got some weird motion. It's, it looks like maybe right here a little bit of bowing. I'm trying to figure out where the point is, maybe around here is where the bow is. So one of my thoughts, uh, I would say that of the six pairs, how many did I really like? Uh, maybe one? Um, there were probably three others that I still thought were pretty good um, and two pairs that were, eh, you know, on, kind of on the fence about. Uh, how would I relate these to other sticks I've looked at? Uh, definitely still a lot better than the Lost, um, lost Kabas sticks. Those are, I thought were just, you know, really not, not very straight at all. Uh, but I thought that actually the Pro Marks had a lot more consist consistency 
on the straightness. Now, I should note the Pro Marks I think are a bit more expensive, especially when you consider the the bundle on the Vader. So you might want to weigh that when you're picking your sticks. You know whether how straight you feel you need the sticks to be, how fast, how often you're going through the sticks. So you might have to do a little bit of cost versus quality benefit there. Um, but of course, straightness is not the only aspect in quality. Um, so what we're going to do next, I'm going to bang on these sticks for a while. And we're going to see how long they take to chip. Okay, so I've played on a few of these sticks now. Let's take a look at what the damage has been. So I started off on pair number five, and this had a um, disappointing amount of life. Uh, on this pair, I actually chipped the tip after only five hours. I saw something a little similar when I was doing the Promark fire grain sticks. That, that only uh, lasted a short amount of time. So yeah, only five hours after chipping these sticks, obviously this should have a lot more life out of it. You know, the other stick is pretty good. It, I could probably even play on the, the backside of this tip, uh, but it is a little disappointing that it chipped after only five hours. Next, I went after what was pair number one. Uh, you know, when I did the rolling, it was the first pair I had done. Um, and I, you know, I wanted to do a little bit of a mix, right? I wanted to do something from the set of four, that like kind of brick of four sticks and the individual sticks separately. So that's why I jumped around like this. Um, and these sticks, they did a lot better. Um, as you can see, I have a chip on this one. This was after 20 hours of play. And as you can also tell, there's a lot more kind of wear down on the stick. So you can tell I've gotten a lot more use out of this guy. So a lot better at 20 hours. Um, finally, because since I had so much of a, uh, you know, variation between the two, I decided to grab another pair. So I grabbed pair number two as my final test. Um, and as you can see, I have not chipped either of these sticks. And one of these is uh, pretty badly beat up. Actually, at this time, I've gone 57 hours into these sticks and I still haven't chipped it. So that's actually really good on these sticks. One thing to note, whenever I'm playing for these tests, I'm always keeping the same stick in the same hand. So the, the chipped sticks, those always end up being the stick that I use in my right hand. And obviously, you know, the, where it's getting wear, worn down so much, this is most likely just because of how much work I'm doing on the hi-hat. Uh, that's where it's, it's wearing this down. So next, I'm gonna get the three remaining pairs of sticks and I'm just gonna tap on the ride with each of them so you can hear if there's any variation in the sound between you know one stick to the next. Um, and then I'm just gonna take whichever pair is the last pair of that set of three and I'm just gonna play a couple of simple little beats so you can hear how that sounds. So what are my thoughts on these sticks? I have to say that, uh, you know, if you're gonna get the Vaders in the Los Angeles style Vaders, definitely get the set of four because you're getting such a good deal. You know, the, the price is so much lower when you get it that way. As far as the life expectancy, it seems to be kind of comparable to the, the Promark sticks. And I really like those Promark sticks I had used before. Still prefer the style tip on the Promarks, the uh, the oval style tip, but these are seem to be pretty close. I just, I don't know what it is. I think the, the Promarks ones are a little bit bigger, have a little bit more meat on them, but these are actually still pretty good as well. Um, much, you know, these sticks are, I would say that, you know, they're probably a close second to the, the Promarks and they are significantly better than the Los, uh, excuse me, the uh, Los Cabas sticks. So if you're going strictly for bang for your buck sort of thing, the, the Vaders, the four pack, it's definitely a good deal. Um, but if, you know, as far as 
you know, my personal preference of kind of like the, the best stick I've used of the various ones I've demoed, I'm still going with the, the standard style Pro Marks, not the Fire Grains, which I feel that the Fire Grains are a little bit of um, an overpriced mess. I don't think that you get really any additional life out of those. So if you have some stick that you've been interested in, something that you've been thinking about trying but you don't want to sink the money into, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll pick up some pairs and do a demo for you guys. I'm also putting out other videos, you know, other demo videos and play-alongs and covers and uh, recording tip videos as well. So if you don't want to miss out on that stuff, then don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, peace.